This is Acanthaster plansi, the crown of thorns starfish. And this starfish is a voracious predator of corals. What it does is actually it will spit its stomach out onto the coral tissue, dissolve it, and bring it back in. And the only thing left is the bright white skeleton that was underneath that tissue. And that's why it's called coral bleaching, because it looks like the corals had been bleached. Now in the 1960s, there was a, an epidemic, an outbreak of these on the Great Barrier Reef. And people there thought that if they cut them in half, they would be killing them. But this starfish, like many others, can actually regenerate if uh, damaged. So when the people were cutting them in half and throwing them overboard, they were actually doubling the population. Now one of the other great things about my job is that I'm able to do work in Fiji. And one of the things that's really fascinating about that is learning about how Fijians understand their ecology as reflected through language. So the name for this starfish in Fiji is Nabula, which means living or alive. And it's really just fascinating to me how their, their name for it reflects the regenerative powers of this. And this is information you can't just get by going there quickly. You can only get it by spending time in the village and, and living with them and learning about their culture. And one of the things that's been really great as a conservation biologist is having the opportunity to share knowledge with the Fijians. So they can teach me a lot about the ecology and their traditional ecological knowledge of the reefs. And I'm able to share with them research that I do here at the Field Museum, like molecular biology and population genetics. And we're able to combine these two together to come up with really effective conservation solutions, like community-based marine protected areas.